I'm Jerry Ann Higgins. I'm a certified health and wellness coach, and today I am going to share some simple moves to ease tension in our lower back and hips after an extended period of sitting. So first, let's stand up if you haven't already, and we're just going to shake out some of the stiffness of our legs. Just shake it out. Go side to side here. You can even shake out your hands, shake out your elbows, shake out your arms, and move into just a gentle health bounce. Um, you'll see a lot of elite athletes do this, uh, and amateur athletes as well, right, before competitions to relieve tension from their bodies. So you can just continue to do a nice gentle health bounce. You can sway side to side if you'd like. And then we'll gently come to stillness and slowly turn into a half twirl from side to side. And this is a great way to massage your spine, is the twirl. Keep your knees loose. Feel a nice opening across your back and up and down. And if you want to twirl for the whole video, you can. There's a lot of beneficial uh, aspects to this. But if not, you'll gently come to stillness. And we'll move into hip circles. So place your hands on your, on your lower back and bend the knees and just gently come forward and circle back. And again, you know your body better than anyone else. If there's any pain, please stop what you're doing immediately. We'll do three in one direction. And then go three in the other. You should feel this across your whole lower back there and then come to a standing position and we're going to move into a lateral fluid opening of the side body. Bring your head up last. So pretend you're between like two panes of glass here and your head is coming along for the ride. And this opens up the side and the upper hips. And then we'll come to stillness again. We'll move into something called a soccer kick um, to uh, release some of the outer hip tension. So you can place your hands on your lower back or if you have any balance um, concerns, you can always put your elbows up against a wall for, your, um, for this move. So what you wanna do is you wanna flex your foot and pretend you're kicking a soccer ball. So. Your heel comes across, comes in front of the opposite leg. You should feel a nice opening in the outer hips. It's a nice fluid hip opener. You can do this for, you can start trying to do it for up to a minute, uh, and then you can move on to two minutes. But today, we will stop early so we can move on to some of the other moves. Definition and balance here. All right, so now we're going to do figure eights with the pelvis. So um, your body will want to go and do a figure eight in one direction very naturally. Okay, we're just gently opening things up with fluid motion, as I said earlier. It's a really good way to do it. And then we're going to reverse it. It's going to feel awkward, but we have to be balanced, so <laughs> the body likes to be balanced. We'll do two more. All right, so now come to stillness, and we'll work on our um, the hip flexor step back. So if you need the aid of a chair, you can have your hand on one chair. Your feet are about shoulder width apart, and you lift up your knee, and then you just step back 
and you to the ball of your foot. So lift it up, step back to the ball of the foot. Lift it up, ball of foot. And just keep doing that. And this is gently opening the hip flexor. And if you want to add in, um, have it be a balance move, you can place your hands on your lower back for stability. So do what's best for you. You can do this for up to one minute and then sw uh, switch to the other side. You can increase it to two minutes. And again, use the aid of a chair if you need it. And if not, just notice which side has stronger balance today. I'll do two more here. All right, and then we'll move into the chair for the last move, which is the uh, figure four stretch. So we're going to reach for our ankle, flex our foot, and place it above, um, above the knee area. So on the um, thigh, right at the beginning of the, above the thigh there. And we'll hold on to our ankle, and we'll lift our heart, and then we'll just gently hinge. And you're going to feel it in your outer hip. So go what's best for you, how, however forward you want to go. Go to your own personal edge. And you can hold that 20 to 30 seconds. Um, I'm going to just move swiftly uh, and go to the other side here. So hold on to that ankle, lift your heart, and hinge forward. And notice the difference in how your outer hips feel. Which one's crankier? This is my crankier hip. All right. And you can gently bring your foot down to the floor. And that ends our brief body break video. This video was created in partnership with the University of Vermont Medical Center Employee Wellness and FullyPresentWithYou.com. Thanks for watching and have a great day.